Hi, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Today I want to talk about singing in tune. A lot of times I have students and they'll be singing through something and, and I'll have to say to them, it was pretty good except, you know, you, there's this one part where you're, you're constantly a little bit sharp or you're just barely missing it, you're a little flat on this part, something like that. And, and for me, if somebody told me that I was flat or sharp, I could, I could probably fix it. But, um, but for a lot of people, when, when they hear that they're out of tune, they're just like, well, what do I do? Like, how, how do I know? How will I ever know when I'm out of tune? Because I'm always like, you might just want to practice that part a little bit more. And, and, and so I'll, they would say, how do I practice that? And I'll say, well, you got to sit at the piano, you know, and hit your note and make sure that you're right on. They'll be like, but how do I know I'm right on? That's where modern technology is awesome. Because I think that you can learn to sing in tune by practicing very often with your favorite tuning app. I've been using a, a tuning app for a while that I wasn't very happy with. And so last night on my Facebook, I just ran a little poll and I said, what are your favorite free tuning apps? Because I didn't want anybody to have to go spend money on like a tuning app. But I got some good suggestions and and I went ahead and I downloaded about mm, five or six of them and checked them out until I found my favorite one. Might not be everybody's favorite one, but it's, it's one that I kind of locked onto because I like its precision and I like the layout. I like the way that it looks. So let me show it to you. Oh, you ought to see the ones I checked out. Like, okay, these are the ones that I checked out, you should know. Uh, okay, the one that I ended up liking is INS Tuner. Instrument tuner, I guess, in tuner, something like stupid names. Tuner light, that was okay. Pitch lab, that was okay. Bose tuner, that was okay. I even looked at one called G strings. I don't like it so much. <laughs> okay, but the one that I like is called INS tuner, I N S. Let me show you. So it's this one right here, I N S tuner. The reason why I like it is because it's this wheel. It's this, it's like a clock or something or a dial. So if I sing an A, I really like that needle. I think that it's really accurate. And you can see all the other notes around the wheel just in chromatic order. And I think that's helpful because let's say I want to practice my intervals. Say I would like to jump to an F sharp. it's so nice and you can see that I ended up a little bit flat so one thing you can do is practice you can practice making yourself a little bit flat making yourself a little bit sharp let's do this F sharp again it's great practice you can take a deep breath and have a goal to start on an F sharp, go to a G, come back to an F sharp, go to an F, come back to an F sharp, go up a quarter tone, go down a quarter tone, and back to an F sharp, all within one breath. Not bad. It gets hard toward the end of your breath if you do that exercise. Now let's say from the F sharp, I would like to hop to a C. I like this wheel because it shows you that a C is directly across from it. That means it's halfway between another, a scale, right? That's a tritone away.
bring it right there until it's there. Okay, now, so let's say that your student or, or you is working on singing some song and they always are missing some interval. Let's take a difficult song, something like um, Lush Life. How about that? Ooh, ooh. So there's my C sharp or D flat. That's where Lush Life is. And what I can do is I can just start singing the song and I can check myself on the difficult intervals like this. I used to visit all the very gay places, those come what may places, where one relaxes on the axis of... Look at, I was a little bit sharp, so I had to bring it down. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try it again and see if I can land right on that A. I used to visit all the very gay places, those come what may places, where one relaxes on the axis of... That was a little better. I was slightly under. I also like this because it turns to green when you've got it. And what does it do? It turns to red when you're sharp? Let's try it. And red when you're flat, both. I think it's cool. I think those are all really helpful things. The wheel, the way that it's laid out, I think that, like some apps, the, here, let me show you another one. It has this little meter and it's just kind of jumpy. And, and I can't see it really well because the lights flash and they go away. So that's why I didn't like this one. It might be perfect, you know, for your guitar. I don't know. But that's kind of why I didn't like a lot of them. This one too, Tuner, tuner Light. I just thought that this little meter thing was a little too jumpy. It's not bad. It's better than the Bose one but it's just kind of a little bit flighty for me. And, and I don't like that it didn't have that whole wheel. I really like that wheel, I don't know. It'll be different for different people. So let's go back to the one I do like. Lush Life is a really hard song, but what if you or your student just needed practice with intervals? You could just, you could play a game you know, they could get a point for every time they were within one little um, increment. You know, there's like, how many? One, two, th there's five between every one. You could, you could have a point system and play a game. So you can say, all right, you're going to go for an A right now. If you get within one, you know, you get five points. Ooh, bam, Amy got five points. And then you'd be like, okay, now I want you to sing a D. So we're going to, you know, hear that in your head. Nope, Amy did not get five points. Amy was two increments off. So we go back to the A. Uh, my five points are now taken away. I have zero. Back to five. Got it that time, 10 points. Bam, it. every time you get 10 points, you get a, I don't know what you get, a Jolly Rancher. What do you get? I don't know, that's up, that's up to you. And if you're not talking about your student and you're just talking about yourself, then, you know, sky's the limit. <laughs> Drop your tuner right now and go get some dang frozen yogurt. So really, I think the sky's the limit with these apps. I just think you can be really creative and do lots of things. You can make up games, you can quiz yourself. You can quiz your students, and you know, it's not just for singers. We've got other instruments that are hard to play in tune, all stringed instruments. I think it would be a great thing to do for a bass player to, uh, maybe even in a bass player class, you know, you, like you could go around the circle with a whole bunch of bass players and see who can jump from an A, well, not an A to a D because those are open strings, but whatever, a G to a C or something and be right in tune and you get points. Who doesn't love points? I love a good game with a winner. 
but I really do think this is a good way to improve your pitch. Even if you think you've got pretty good pitch, everybody will miss a little bit. I think everybody will miss a little bit. I think it's a good, a good idea for singers just to spend a little bit of time with this every day, maybe in your warm up or right after your warm up, just to fine tune your hearing a little bit and your muscles. And anyway, I hope you'll use it in your own practice and with your students. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.